Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and today we are answering the question, is AquaClass worth it on Celebrity Cruise Lines? So what is AquaClass? AquaClass is a special category of cabin you book that gives you extra perks for being in that cabin. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all of those perks, talk about whether or not I thought it was worth it for me, and then give you my overall thoughts on whether it might be worth it for you. Hopefully you're a subscriber, so you saw my review last week of our 10 night Southern Caribbean cruise on the Celebrity Edge. That's what I'm gonna be talking about here, the Aqua Class experience we had on the Celebrity Edge. But we have also had Aqua Class experiences on the Equinox and the Summit, so I can offer a little different perspective based on our experiences there as well. If you hadn't subscribed, I hope you would. There'll be upcoming cruise reviews, cruise ship tours, all-inclusive resort tours, and all types of other travel adventures, and I'd love to have you along for the ride and to hear your thoughts. So let's get started. So one of the first big benefits or perks of an Aqua Class cabin is access to the thermal suite. What is the thermal suite? It's a special area within the spa that includes steam rooms, saunas, heated loungers, special showers, and this kind of cool floating area that has uh, these cool floating chairs where you can sit and enjoy. It also has a very large front deck. So if you wanted to be out on deck at the front of the ship going in and out of port, it's a great area to hang out there. Specifically, it has two different steam rooms. One they call a uh, Haman. It's a that was the higher temperature steam room and then an aromatic steam room that they always put a couple essential oils in. They had a salt room, which was a lower temperature. So that was supposed to give you the cleansing benefits of pink salt. They had a crystal healing room, which actually was a sauna, but it was a sauna that was always around a hundred degrees. So not quite as hot as a hot, hot sauna. And then they did have a regular dry hot sauna that had a great view out to the ocean. And then in addition to those heated loungers I was talking about. Now normally that area is $499 for a couple sharing the same cabin or two people sharing the same cabin plus an 18% gratuity. So this is the, the benefit that has the most clear financial value. So, if, I mean, if you're looking at an Aqua Class cabin and it costs $250 to upgrade from a regular veranda to an Aqua Class veranda, do it. Cause that's, that's what it's gonna cost to have the thermal suite. And then you get all the other benefits I'm about to mention. Now, I think this absolutely is worth it on the edge class because the thermal suite here is phenomenal. We really enjoyed our time in there. Um, we also enjoyed like the showers. I didn't talk about that. They have a series of four showers that you're supposed to go into because it has various temperatures after you get out of the hot steam room or the hot sauna. So we really enjoyed that. The thermal suites on the Millennium class ships and the Solstice class ships, I don't enjoy as much. They're much smaller. They have less rooms in terms of steam rooms and saunas and showers. And I just, I don't like them as well. And so I don't think I would say it's worth it on that class of the ship just for the thermal suite access. The other spa benefits are a dedicated spa concierge. I didn't use this. I, they had a meeting on the first day where you could go and learn about different specials and what was available at the spa. So if you're a big spa person, I think this would be a benefit because you also get priority spa reservations. You get complimentary fitness classes. We didn't take advantage of this, but I did notice in the schedule they had a wide range of fitness classes, yoga, indoor cycling, HIIT. Do you call that HIT high intensity interval training? Is that right? Let me know in the comments. I think that's what it means. So if you were going to be a person that was going to take regular fitness classes, this would be a financial financial perk for you. And lastly, exclusive spa treatment discounts. Now I personally did go to the spa, had a great massage and mini facial, but that was booked on a different daily special. So I didn't use the Aqua Class discount in that case. So the other big perk is for dining. So you have access to Blue, which is a special dining room for Aqua Class guests only. It's available for breakfast and dinner and has a different menu than what you can find in the dining room. We thought this was terrific. We had a few meals that were absolutely specialty dining worthy. I would have paid a surcharge to have them. It was actually like the first three menus on our cruise were phenomenal. We were very impressed. Now, some of the other nights, it was a bit more challenging. There were a lot of nights it was like lamb and pheasant on the menu, which I'm not a big fan of. 
we struggled with some of the beef dishes so the short ribs were amazing the filet was great they had filet two times during the cruise but then the ribeye was kind of butchered weird so I don't know if that was a ship white issue or just in blue so there was some hits or misses but overall I thought it was really interesting having cruise celebrity a lot recently it was nice to have a different menu are gonna sail in blue you can look up the menus in advance on the app so I would just double check the menus in advance make sure there's something you like there you can also on the edge make reservations at any of the other four main dining rooms if there isn't something you like within blue also, if there is something you don't like, you can always order from the classics menu in the main dining room. Shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad, French onion soup, salmon, chicken, or steak. So you always have that as a backup while you're in this smaller dining room getting more personalized service. Also for Aqua Class, there is an expanded room service menu. Now you do have to pay for room service. It's a $9.95 charge plus 18% gratuity if you order anything other than continental breakfast. But you can see there are some additional items on here that are more wellness items, some different choices you can find if you were gonna pay that $10. Now to the room amenities. So the biggest room amenity to me was the shower head. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so this shower is a little tricky. So this right here controls the temperature. Then there's a little lever here that controls the water going on or off. Then this controls where the water comes out. So right now it's on the setting for the waterfall shower head. You can also pick the rainforest shower head or the handheld shower head, or the jets that shoot out. These aren't on full speed <laughs> because I would soak the bathroom. Isn't that cool? So I thought that was a real benefit. I we I kept it on the like, just dump on your head. So what is that? <laughs> That's not what it's called. Another amenity is the two bottles of water per day. This wasn't a huge perk since we had the beverage package, but it was nice to have water in the room. You get two yoga mats included. They are really nice yoga mats and they're long. And I think this would be great to take up to the rooftop garden if you wanted to do stretches up there. Within the room though, it's a little hard to do yoga. There's, I mean, there's not a ton of space, but you could do it. You could do it in between the desk and the couch. Online, they advertise in-room fitness amenities. And in fact, when you go on the app prior to boarding, they have all of these things you could choose from to pre-order, weighted blankets, workout items, different types of mats. But once we got on board, they weren't available. So like none of the things were available. So I think there's a real mismatch between what they're advertising as available in the app and what's actually on board the Edge. Now maybe some of the other ships have more availability of these items, but on the Edge, they weren't really available. The website also says they have eco-friendly showers, conditioners. Now, it was nice to have shower, conditioner, body wash, and body lotion available to lower some of your packing. So that's, that's a nice perk. One of the things they tout on the website is expanded wellness on-demand TV programming. Well, that ended up being three F45 workouts and several meditations. So it's not like you're getting a subscription to Beachbody on demand here, but there are a couple extra online workout things. You do get a very nice bathrobe and slippers. You can request a welcome bottle of sparkling wine. We didn't, again, we had the drinks package, didn't need it. And you can have complimentary use of an umbrella or a pair of binoculars during your stay. I actually really like this. I like having the binoculars in the cabin. I would not book aqua class to have binoculars in the cabin, but it's a fun little perk. So overall, you know, the big three things are gonna be the spa access, the dining in blue, and then the nicer shower in the cabin, I think. Those are kind of the big three things to determine if aqua class is gonna be worth it for you. Now, I'm gonna say not every time. I don't think I need to sail in aqua class every time. I wasn't, you know, blown away by the experience. It was nice having a different menu in blue. It was terrific for those several nights we had incredible meals that I would have, you know, been akin to a specialty dining. I think if we had not been in blue, we would have had one or two specialty dining 
dinners um, just to mix it up from the main dining room. So there is a real, you know, financial benefit to being in blue, especially if you've been sailing in the main dining room for a while, uh, just to mix it up, get those different menus. On the edge class ships, I think the thermal suite access is phenomenal. Absolutely worth it for that, um, especially if you're not having to pay that much more than what the thermal suite pass would have cost. But on the Summit or the Millennium class ships, the Solstice class ships, I'm not sure the thermal suite is worth it. So to sum it all up, I would say I thought my experience on the edge was absolutely worth it for what we paid. I thought it was worth upgrading, but I wouldn't do it all the time and I probably wouldn't do it on a Millennium class or a Solstice class ship. What about you? Have you sailed an Aqua class? What do you think? Is it worth it for you? Is it not worth it for you? Do you agree with me that it's better on the edge than other places? Please let me know in the comments.